I told you yesterday that George Zimmerman, who was acquitted of killing Trayvon Martin, uh, unarmed Trayvon Martin, just a few months ago, has now been arrested again. This time it was for felony assault. It was a domestic dispute type incident. We now have video of his bail hearing today. I'll play just a couple of excerpts here and you will hear the charges explained. You will hear the prosecutor talk about why she believes there should be a $50,000 bond. Ultimately, the bond set at $9,000. Let's take a look at this. Let's listen to the audio from the courtroom uh, literally just uh, 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 hours ago, Lewis. Let's let's take a look. Do you have a question about any of these rights, Mr. Zimmerman? No, Your Honor. Do you understand all those rights? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, good. And so, Mr. Zimmerman, do you understand that the reason for your arrest <laughs> is that it has been alleged that there was a domestic violence related aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and a domestic violence related battery and criminal mischief. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. In addition, Your Honor, we're requesting no possession of firearms or ammunition and that any new address that he is to uh, live at also be weapon free. We're also requesting that he not be allowed to travel outside the state of Florida and also to uh, relinquish his passports. Okay. I do, Mr. Look, Your Honor, I, oh, I'd go like, ahead. if I could just put some other um, things on the record. The victim had indicated sure. that there was a prior domestic violence incident that occurred approximately a week and a half ago that involved um, a, a choking that she did not report to the police. She didn't feel for her safety on the day of this incident. She had indicated that they had been discussing breaking up. He's also uh, has mentioned suicide in the recent past due to those factors and uh, the defendant indicating at the time he was uh, threatening to commit suicide that he had nothing to lose. We feel that the victim's safety and the community's safety is of paramount concern. And at this time, Your Honor, the state is requesting $50,000 bond to ensure his return to court. Okay, well, I'm not going to go anywhere near that, but uh, Mr. Dowdy, would yes, you like sir. to make some argument on behalf of your client? Okay, so the judge ordered that Zimmerman can be released on $9,000 bond. He is barred from possessing guns or coming from what, within 1,500 feet of Samantha Scheib, his girlfriend, supposed girlfriend. Zimmerman will have to wear a GPS tracking device until his next court date, which, by the way, is not until January 7th. Lewis, here we go again. We have now have a couple of months until the next court situation. George Zimmerman just months after being acquitted of the killing of in the in uh, of the murder of Trayvon Martin. He did factually kill him uh, and had the GPS tracking device removed already has another GPS tracking device on his body. Yeah, it never ends with this guy. And well, maybe it will end when he goes completely off the deep end and, and kills someone, murders someone in cold blood in front of witnesses. But uh, unfortunately, I think if he is found guilty here, uh, he's probably not going to do much jail time, if any. Well, th I got an email from somebody who said, you know, some say that the acquittal was the setting free of George Zimmerman, but justice seems to find its way. And and uh, some some people think about that with uh, O.J. Simpson, right, who was acquitted in the murder of his ex-wife and her boyfriend, but now is sitting in prison for an unrelated crime. Some saying that the punishment was too harsh, given the the crime that was committed there. Well, here's the thing. If OJ was up to it after getting uh, set free and not uh, convicted of murder in the first case, if the crime he wanted to commit was to go kill someone else, he could have. Uh, instead, he decided to steal some stuff. Yeah, no, so, okay, that, uh, that's, uh, that's true. Yeah. All right. Well, so getting back to George Zimmerman, at least two other women, uh, a former wife and another former girlfriend, have also accused Zimmerman of domestic violence in the past. And here is the most amazing update to this. A month or two ago, I had told you that Shelly Zimmerman, George Zimmerman's estranged wife, was unable to physically uh, uh, file for divorce because they just couldn't serve the papers to George Zimmerman. Nobody knew her, where he was. And she actually, it's reported that she showed up yesterday while he was waiting for the bond hearing and actually finally served him those divorce papers. They were able to find him. So not a good day for George Zimmerman. I'm getting hourly emails from people saying this guy will kill again. The real question is, how does this guy still have a gun? Right. And when you look at the, the story case by case, there are reasons, right? Well, he was acquitted. Charges were dropped. The victims changed their story. But George Zimmerman has been arrested for assaulting a police officer. 
the subject of a domestic violence restraining order involving a firearm. He shot and killed an unarmed teenager and has threatened his wife and, and it appears at least an additional former girlfriend with a gun and he still legally has access to guns temporarily suspended here. Lewis, is this really the problem? Well, the problem is it's a complicated problem because he keeps getting away with this stuff. People have the opportunity to press charges. They don't. It's uh, it's a complicated situation. So uh, I guess I won't comment too much on that. Email me how soon, if at all, will George Zimmerman have have actual prison time? Maybe.